okay so in the last lecture of pattern recognition we have gone through that what do you understand by a uh, pattern and then we have gone through the examples and the different pattern and then we have seen that there are different domains okay different areas from which we try to uh, develop this subject like you have seen that statistics our data mining credibility neurocomputing machine learning artificial intelligence okay i hope up to this points it is clear to all of you yes sir well <clears throat> in a typical pattern recognition application the raw data is processed and converted into a form that is amenable for a machine to use that definition also we have seen and also we have seen that pattern recognition involves classification and clustering of patterns now these two terms actually classifications and clustering they themselves form two different modules for your syllabus because they're very important actually okay a lot of algorithms exist at least we need to select some important ones some frequently used algorithms and we'll see how to implement them so in a classification an appropriate class level is assigned to a pattern based on an abstraction that is generated using a set of trending patterns or domain knowledge so classification requires leveling of the patterns iska matlab ye hai aapke paas alag alag pattern hai you have different patterns so different patterns matlab suppose pattern a pattern b okay so classification mein hum kya karenge sabse pehle baat aapke paas knowledge hoga all of you should take it very serious seriously okay so all of you uh have to know about the supervised learning that i will explain but first of all you already have knowledge about that particular task okay so so based on that knowledge and based on that knowledge you will create a data set that will be known as training data set and in the training data set whatever the patterns you will have they themselves being leveled okay so then some new data come and some new data mean in this case pattern our task is to level them with the help of those training data and the whole process is known as classification okay and this classification falls under what type of machine learning technique that is supervised learning jo classification hai supervised learning ke andar aata hai kyu because yahan pe ek supervisor hai और यहाँ पे जो सुपरवाइज लर्निंग की बात कर रहे हैं हम वो इसलिए क्योंकि यहाँ पे हर एक पैटर्न में एक क्लास लेवल दिया हुआ है और वो उस डेटा सेट को हम क्या बोलते हैं ट्रेनिंग डेटा सेट ठीक है आप नया डेटा सेट जो भी आएगा हमारा टास्क ये रहेगा कि उसमें जो पैटर्न है उसको रिकॉग्नाइज करना तो आपके पास ऑलरेडी नॉलेज है सुपरविजन है और उसके ऊपर बेस करके आप नया डेटा को क्लासीफाई करने जा रहे हो यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्लासीफाई द न्यू डेटा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नॉलेज दैट यू ऑलरेडी हैव रिगार्डिंग दैट डेटा सेट ओके सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नोन एज सुपरवाइज लर्निंग इज दिस क्लियर यस सर सो कैन यू रिपीट इट वन मोर ओके सो एज आई हैव सेड दैट इन केस ऑफ pattern recognition okay what we'll find two things first one is classification and second one is clustering now i am talking about classification i have said that this classification falls under supervised learning okay the classification hai ye aapka kya hai supervised learning kyun why because we already have knowledge about that those data about those environment also okay 
from which those data are being collected. Now, based on that knowledge, we try to classify the new data. And whenever this situation arises, where you already have knowledge, you already have domain knowledge, then this type of approach in machine learning, known as supervised learning. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, now look at this diagram. Overview of pattern recognition. You see, say in the last class, I told you we have different type of data. Like uh, also, I told you about those um, structured data, unstructured data. You have seen that images are also data. They are unstructured in nature. We have speech. We have normal or those uh, data from the database tables. So from those input data, first task is to future extract from those data. Okay, our first task will be future extraction. Now, these terms you don't need to worry about. I'll discuss in detail with respect to some algorithm concern. Okay, and also we'll try to, if time permits, go for implementation of those in Python also. So currently, you just need to understand that why we are doing so. Okay, so first we are trying to extract those, those fusers. Those fusers may be, suppose, 100, 200. Okay, now among those fusers, we'll try to reduce them so that those redundant fusers, what we don't need, they will be what? Just rest out. Okay. We'll remove those redundant fusers. And that process is known as fuser reduction. Now, in after these days, we have, or we will follow either classification or clustering or a combination of both. Okay. This, 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 is, this should be known. Okay, if we have knowledge about those futures, then we go for the classification process. Okay, if we have no, we have, we have no idea about those features, then we'll follow that clustering process. That is also known as unsupervised process. Okay, and from the classification process, we'll come out with some class levels. Th those will be our output. Yeah, this is the pattern, like suppose this is the pattern of a dog, this is the pattern of a, uh, say, cat. Okay, so those dog, those cat, this will be our class level. And from the clustering, based on some performance criteria and the cluster validity, will finally form some clusters. And cluster, in every cluster, we have same type of patterns. Suppose this is cluster one, this is cluster two. So in cluster one, what would have? What we will have? Say we'll have those objects whose patterns are matching that of dog. Okay, those of dog. Similarly, in cluster two, we'll have those objects whose patterns are matched with cat. So ultimately, we can say that this cluster one is the dog. Objects, okay, okay, the cluster one consisting of objects, which are dog patterns, and the cluster two consists of those objects whose patterns are matching with cat. So that is the overview of whole pattern recognition process. So starting with the input data, then future extraction, future reduction, based on the known and unknown background, we go for either classification or clustering then we'll have either output as class levels or clusters. Now, is this clear to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cluster validity. Yes, sir. Okay. Regarding the cluster validity, I will take around two to three different lectures for the clustering itself. As I have told you that classification and clustering, they will form separate modules in your syllabus. We'll know in detail, but current moment, you just uh, consider it as a metric 
with the help of which we'll determine that, yeah, this is a valid cluster or not, or this is an empty cluster. Some clusters may be formed, okay, which are not going to consist any objects of that particular data set, that they will be regarded as empty cluster. And some overlapping cluster may also be formed. So we need to find out which one is valid for our data set with respect to our tax, or which one is invalid. Okay, so these metrics will be used for that and they are known as cluster values. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Okay, any other question? Baki sabko samaj mein aage yes is? I'm pausing for a few seconds, waiting for your response, then I'll move here. Come on, if you got it, then you can say yes. If you don't get it, you can say repeat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, cluster validity example that you have now. See, cluster validity, we may refer different things. Uh, in my case, I usually refer distance metrics. Okay, so actually this is a kind of uh, some statistical tools. And some Q measures are also there. There is a matrix that is known as Q matrix. Okay, uh, kind of complicated things. But for this class, you just, uh, uh, just remember that like Q matrix are there. There's some, uh, say, the Euclidean distance matrix are there. Okay, so based on this matrix, we try to validify that class. Imagine how many try to enter. See, I have already requested you, um, whenever I have started the class, try to join it immediately or up to five minutes, I will consider. But after that, you guys seen that this power of message disturbs. Right or wrong? So please don't do that, okay? Is it possible to make it? Only messages to buy a party. I hit a kill. All of this stuff. Buy a party. My admit. Kori bolo kya hai? So that year, I'm going to that year. Ba pass minute to lage. Okay, pass minute tak ya maximum I can consider up to ten minutes. But after that, please. Okay. So yeh jo cluster validity hai. Okay. Iske baare mein in details. Iske andar bahot saare metrics aate hain. So ek ek karke ham dekhenge iske baare mein. So you don't need to worry about. Maine jaise abhi kaha ap logon ko queue metric hai. Distance metric, hai. so there may be different metrics. Okay, or ham apna metric could be one asset. Like in my case, I have formed one metric myself for in my during my research. Okay, to validify that whether this is the cluster we need or not. Okay, so we'll discuss in details. But abhi tak ke kya apko samaj mein aaya ye kya kam karte hain? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, I need to, hello, uh, so I'm moving ahead, okay. Akbar Hiba Paramo? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one more diagram for you, the sample pattern recognition for this. Have you taken uh, the screenshot of this diagram? If not, please take it. And one request, to, one suggestion to all of you, because you have seen that after every lecture, I used to give you the recorded version. And try to create your own handwritten notes. Okay, from the very beginning. Otherwise, at some moment, during the exam time, you may feel burdened to prepare all the notes. Okay, so, yes, I hope that you will be able to make your own notes. I will tell you that it is important to say that it is important to say important to अपने स्क्रीनशॉट भी ले लिया और मैं रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर भी आपको दे रहा हूँ तो शुरुआत से ही आप बनाते जाओ ठीक है बिलीव मी एटलिस्ट दोस्त हुए आर वेरी सिंचर्स रिगार्डिंग दोस एग्जामिनेशंस दैट लाइक कंपटीटिव एग्जामिनेशंस तो ये आप बनाते जाओ तो ये आपको हेल्प करेगा ठीक है � और ये याद रखना आप सिंचर होके सीरियस रहोगे तो आप बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलेगा इस सारे पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन में ठीक है तो पहले से ये बनाते जाओ आप लोग ओके 
so let me clear this this is one more uh, diagram for a sample pattern recognition process you see input then sensing then segmentation then fusor extraction and classification then post processing then decision and in my case up to some extent i followed this one because you will see in computer vision uh, you might uh, you will have a paper digital image processing in your uh, 10 cm like okay that subject will also be taken by me because computer vision okay in digital image processing falls under that so we'll uh, just like your project data that project data will be data okay so in case of image data or video data okay image processing or video processing that is 50000 each please mute and they can get ki hamara jo target hai basically please mute ye hai ki classic grade se this mahashay for image, this will be a more perfect one. Okay. Input, then sensing, you already know for, uh, that you will let, let it know because throughout your project, then what is segmentation? And I'm not going to explain these things again and again. Future extraction and classification, then post processing, then decision. Okay. This is one more diagram for pattern recognition process. Now, I'm going to terminate this lecture today because uh, one examination is there that I have to take the responses. So is this okay for all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. And that was the one that video on the video. That was the one that was done. That's why next time you don't have to do it. Okay? You will keep the video off and the mic जब भी रेस्पॉन्स देने की टाइम आएगा तब आप माइक को अनम्यूट करके रेस्पॉन्स दे दिया कीजिएगा बट ऐसा मत करना ठीक है इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर आल्सो आई हैव फाउंड सम यू नो दिस टाइप ऑफ टॉकिंग सो डोंट डू दैट एंड आई होप यू हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन द अटेंडेंस फॉर द सेट बॉक्स सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Thank you, sir.